Hi, I'm Cassie Kozarkov, and today I'm going to show you Chat GPT Plus that's running GPT 4 on the right, and today's release, Google Bard, which is running Lambda. So these are two LLMs, large language models, and I'm going to show you them side by side. This is actually my first side by side playing that I get to do with them. This is the video showing you what I chose to do with these things in my first minutes with both of them side by side on my screen. So first time asking Bard, what is the most controversial question in epistemology? And I want to get a little bit of opinion. I don't want too much balance. Make things spicy. I am asking for it to make an argument for one side, right? And then afterwards, I want it to kind of respond with, and what do you think? Because I'm trying to start a conversation with ChatGPT. And this is going to be really hard because in my experience, it's not trying to do that friend or therapist style. It kind of just finishes the thought out, which is good for what it's made for. It sort of completes its work as a whole. But anyway, here we go. Um, I have pasted exactly what Bard output into ChatGPT, ChatGPT Plus. And how you know it's GPT-4, you see that little um, black logo there instead of the green one, then you know you're dealing with GPT-4. Um, with that logo green, that's an earlier version of the model, not as powerful. Okay, and so a lot of epistemology here, and I love epistemology, it's the study of knowledge and human understanding. It's one of my favorite areas. But, you know, both of these are a little on the dry side. They're a little Wikipedia-esque. Great, so what am I going to do next? Well, I'm going to ask it an important question. I want to know what team it's on, epistemologically speaking. Are you on Team Kant or Team Hume? I guess I better make those capital. Team Hume. And we'll ask both of them. Uh, I keep pressing enter. Right, so let's see what they say. And notice the, the different UX, how on the uh, Google Bard side, it sort of thinks for a while and then gives you all the text at once. And then on the uh, ChatGPT side, it sort of writes it out for you and you have to watch it go. Uh, so <laughs> what I notice is something very cute and conversational on the left there. I'm on Team Kant, by the way, folks. I'm on Team Hume, kind of in love with Hume. Um, but yeah, you get a sense from this response, a very nice little summary about what Kant and Hume are about. While the other one is giving me this Wikipedia article saying, I'm an AI, I don't have opinions, and this is who David Hume was, this is who Immanuel Kant was. While the other one is doing its thing, sure, free to read, I want to know what is your favorite thing about Hume? Because I love Hume. That's my little bias, and I suppose I'm sharing that with you all. So let's see what, uh, what Bard likes about Hume. My favorite thing about Hume is his wit and humor. Yeah, I like that too. I like that a lot. As a writer, I still enjoy him, even though, as we saw on the right-hand side, it's been a while, centuries since he's been alive. Hume is witty and nice to read, and I agree with that too. Um, yeah, so I definitely had a crush on Hume as a kid, and Bard says, yep, understandable. Now I'm going to balance this out and do this favorite thing on the other right-hand side with ChatGPT. And now we've got this whole, as an AI language model, I don't have personal preferences, or of course you don't, you're a machine. I I hope we all kind of get that. All right, but I'm not here for a big information dump. To me, that one was more useful than the one on the right. To someone else, some other part of it might be useful. Usefulness is really hard here. How do we measure usefulness? Is it in terms of time saved? Is it in terms of inspiration, which is quite hard to quantify? Or is it in terms of people coming back for more? Or is it in terms of all the millions, billions, uncountable, other ways that we humans could phrase what would be useful to us. My name is Cassie Kozarkov, and um, let me know if you found this useful. Maybe I'll make more content like it. But in the meantime, you know, the standard greeting is 
Clap all the claps, subscribe all the subscribes, uh, tell your friends if you loved it, and tell your enemies if you hated it. Until next time.